Hi everyone, this is Natalie with Collective. Today I'm going to talk to you about the small multiples feature released for public preview in the December 2020 Power BI update. What small multiples does is it splits a single chart into a grid of charts by a dimension. I'm going to switch to a desktop file here quickly. Um, I use this feature is extremely handy for is if you have several duplicated charts displaying the same information, but filtered based on dimension values. So here are a few samples uh, from the previous workaround. The first is showing revenue by product type and divisible issue being that the Y axes are not synced between the different charts. So we can see here the Y axes for product type one goes up to $100,000, product type two, it only goes to $80,000 then three and four were back up to $100,000. So it just leads to some, some comparability issues when reviewing the charts. In the second sample, it is showing revenue by region. And there are several issues when comparing the formatting of the similar charts. Again, the Y axis is using a different scale between all three charts. The display units are different between the charts. We're in millions in the west region and central and east regions. We're in thousands. And then also the x-axis types are different. So we're using categorical in the west and central region. And in the east region, we're using continuous. So they're all little nuances or, or little formatting things that you need to pay attention to when you have all these separate visualizations. So what I'm going to do now is go to a new revenue page here, and I have revenue by month in a column chart. So what I'm going to do is recreate the product type uh, that had the four separate charts. And what I'm going to do then now is I have, when I click on the, the column chart, I have small multiples available now. Um, so I'm going to pull in the product type into small multiples. And what it's going to do by default is pull in a two by two grid. So you have the option in the format pane to be able to change the grid layout. So you can increase the rows to three, or you can get up to six, and same with the columns. So it'll just change it based on what the pane is uh, for the visualization that you have selected. So I'm going to leave it two by two, because that's what we had uh, back here. But what you can see now is we have the same y-axis scale. And then we're also sharing the x-axis across the grid. So it just kind of brings in some consistency. And, and we're always going to be comparable when looking within the grid and the visualization here. So what I'm going to do now is get rid of the product type, and I'm actually going to create the, um, the revenue by region, except this time we're also going to play with the grid layout. So here to go create that region, I'm going to go into the grid layout. I'm going to say I want three rows, but I also just want one column this time. So this is going to create that same layout that we saw on that previous page, except now they're all within the one visualization. And now we also gain back by using the small multiples and having it all in one visualization. We gain back that ability to do the cross filtering in our report. So we can click on anything in here and it'll do the cross filtering uh, across the other, other visualizations. So you can do it specifically by a month. You could filter based on the axes and it'll show it for all of them. Um, so you just kind of gain back some of that dynamic ability that Power BI gives you. So if you end up having any issues, please feel free to reach out or head to the Microsoft Power BI blog at powerbi.microsoft.com backslash blog as they have the full roadmap and limitations for the small multiples feature. For more videos from the team, follow Collective on LinkedIn and YouTube. Thanks for watching.